what side of the train is the best. If you sit on the wrong side of the train, you may need to cancel and it might just be better to take a flight. Hey guys, it's Joe, and I'm so glad that you're here. I just got back from going on a trip to Norway with my mom. We went to Oslo and Bergen, so be sure to check those videos out after this one. If you're planning on going to a trip to Norway, you probably are going to more than one city. And if those two cities are Bergen and Oslo, be sure to watch this video before you book any of your transportation. So the two biggest cities in Norway are Oslo and Bergen, and they are about 500 kilometers or around 300 miles apart from each other. So you're gonna have to have some sort of transportation getting you from point A to point B. There's a few different options. You can drive, fly, and train. In this video, we're gonna talk about the two leisure options, which are flying and going on a train. That's what we did. So first we're gonna talk about the flight. We did this on our way back from Bergen to Oslo and let me tell you it was cheap and it could have been even cheaper if we booked in advance so that's my first tip for any of these transportation options is booking in advance the flight from Bergen to Oslo is about 50 to 55 minutes it's a really quick trip between the two cities flights can be as cheap as $58 keep in mind this does not include your luggage or your seat selection or any other things that you want to add on. So when you do figure all those out, it could be as low as $80 if you book in advance. The views from 30,000 feet can vary depending on the weather, obviously, because you're up in the sky. The day that we went, it was really cloudy, and so it was really hard to see any of the action that was down below. We got a couple of glimpses, which was nice to see, but that wasn't really the main part of the plane ride. It was more just getting from point A to point B. Even if it is a super clear day, the views can be restricted if you don't have a window seat. So even if you're in the middle with somebody else, it's kind of hard to take a look below. The flight is only 50 to 55 minutes. That doesn't include the time it takes from getting to the airport from the city center and then actually getting back to the city center of the next city. So for instance, we left our hotel at about 9.45 in the morning for our 12 p.m. flight. We arrived to the Oslo city center around 2.15. So all in all, the flight is quick, four and a half hours total from point A to point B, and then it's about $105 to $110 if you book in advance. This is a great quick option. And now we're gonna talk about the train option. There's a reason so many people say that the train ride from Bergen to Oslo is a must during your trip to Norway. And it's often hailed as one of the most beautiful train rides in all of Europe. This train ride takes you through some of Norway's most stunning landscapes. You'll pass through snow-capped mountains, deep fjords, and picturesque villages and vast highlands. The Rue crosses Europe's highest mountain plateau, and these offer the panoramic views that showcase the rugged beauty of Norway's wilderness. So this is a seven-ish hour train ride, and when you purchase in advance, you can get seats as low as $38. And those seats are pre-selected for you, so I'm gonna give you some hints on what you should do to ensure that even if you choose this option, you can get some sort of say in where you're gonna be sitting. I booked sort of late for our trip, so our seats were around 100 to 110 so if you know you want to go and do this train ride, book it as soon as they become available, which is about 120 days in advance. The seats are allocated on the trip, so when you book your seat, that's yours. Whether it's a pre-selected seat or you chose it yourself, you know exactly what seat you're going to be on when you enter the train. So here's how to select your seats. You go into the Vi website and choose your location and date that you're looking for, as well as the amount of passengers. Here you can see the options with the cost of the starting ticket. Here we're going to choose one that's about 600 kroners. This is per person. You go down and look at the non-flexible rate. This is the allocated seat. Then you choose the standard option. One thing I recommend is open up a second browser to see what the carriages look like. Here you can see seat 105 and 106. It shows you the direction of the train and where the windows are. I would say this is not a great option. So I would maybe open up another browser and try to search. Or you can just pay a little extra and choose the seat you want. That's right in front of a window. That's what I did. Here's the option that's about $38. This is for one passenger and choosing an allocated seat. So when I was planning my trip, everybody kept saying both sides of the train are just as beautiful. It doesn't matter where you'll sit. You're going to enjoy the train ride. My mom and I believe that that is a complete lie. Roll it, mom. Mom, 
What did you think of the train ride to Bergen from Oslo? We have a lot of fun. Everything's so beautiful. What did you think of the side of the train that we were sitting on? We are sitting really good side. We have a all sceneries. We enjoy it. The other side was not good at the all. Other side don't have no scenery. Very so boring. Boring. The number one side that you want to sit on is the left if you are going Oslo to Bergen. And if you're going Bergen to Oslo, it's the right side. When you look at the train journey, it actually shows you where the rail lines are. That's the side of the river where you can get a better view and see everything. There is a slight portion that is better on the opposite side. That's the part of the train ride where you are going out of Oslo or going into Oslo. There's a few lakes which are gorgeous. My mom and I discussed that we would have not been happy if the only thing we got to see were a few lakes in the beginning of our journey. If you are booking in advance or if you're booking last minute, try to get the left side. It really will make a big difference and make your trip so much more enjoyable, especially because it's not a short journey. It's six and a half to seven hours. So one of the big differences between doing the plane or doing the train. The train ride is not just a means of transportation from point A to point B. This is a journey that you want to really experience. Whether you're a photographer, nature lover, or just someone that enjoys unique travel experiences like myself, this train ride offers plenty of unforgettable moments. One of the cool things that we got to do on our train ride is we actually got to get out and see some of the snow-capped mountains. It was nice to have a chance to get some fresh air, but really understand like in the middle of June, there's snow places and it was just stunning. Some of the lakes that we drove by had ice in them still, which was really cool to see. Here's some of the clips that we have from our trip. So one of my biggest pieces of advice on this journey, pick your seats in advance and save money. You want to experience and see the views that everybody talks about. And one thing I noticed was that people that were on the wrong side of the train kind of seemed bummed out. So here's how I would say to plan your trip. You can train in one way, fly out the other. Something I didn't consider was flying into Oslo, experiencing Oslo, taking the train to Bergen. But what if I would have gone and checked to see if there were other places that had direct flights to Bergen, which I didn't even think of. Here are some of the cities that Bergen can fly direct to. London, Paris, Copenhagen, Rome, Barcelona, Berlin, Amsterdam, Milan, the list goes on. If I had seen a video like this when I was planning my trip, I probably would have chosen to fly to another city to enjoy for a day and a half. And you know that I don't mind flying somewhere for a day and a half. Make sure to watch my Paris and my London videos where we were there for 36 and 48 hours. Travel is hard and not everybody has so much time off. So my thinking is if you have a few days, go. It doesn't matter if it's only a few days. You can still enjoy it and get a taste of a city and see if you want to go back. So let me know in the comments below, have you done this train ride or are you thinking of doing a trip to Norway? Would love to hear what your current plans are and what you thought. If you sat on the other side and don't agree with me, let me know in the comments. I would really like to have your perspective. But like I said, sit on the left side if you're going from Oslo to Bergen and sit on the right side if you're going Bergen to Oslo. Subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. I appreciate you guys and see you next time.